Hello, everybody. Welcome. I am Sun Psychic Jean. I just have a few minutes and I thought I would pop on and uh, see if anybody would like to have a reading and learn a little bit more about what I do. So uh, if you're interested in having uh, getting a reading or contacting your loved ones from the other side who have transitioned. Uh, hi, Kenneth. Thank you very much for um, commenting. And I am Sound Psychic Jean. I am a psychic and a medium. And so welcome. I see a couple of you are here. If you would like a reading, you can just put it in caps, please. And if you'd like a reading from your loved one, you can put a, hi, Katie, thank you very much. Okay, so this is your first time. So you would like a, a reading um, on just on yourself, right, Katie? Or would you like a message from somebody special? I'd love a reading. So Katie, what I'm gonna do is just to go ahead and connect to your energy. And thank you very much. And hi, Angela, I see you too. So Katie, I'm seeing a lot of circles uh, and drums around you. I'm not sure if that means anything to you. Um, I feel, um, so Katie, they're showing me uh, sort of like the Arizona or Sedona area. I'm not sure if you, um, uh, they're kind of showing me like this type of terrain, a little bit drier, a little bit sandier gravel and soil, and uh, a little bit of a drier climate. So I'm not sure if that means anything to you. But what is most important for Katie to know today? So there is uh, much gratitude that they want me to extend to you that you have um, a very uh, uh, kind heart and you uh, are very um, accommodating and kind to others and um, that you are genuinely interested in helping out people who need a hand. Um, I'm not sure if mushrooms means anything to you either, Katie. So let me know if any of that um, makes sense to you. And uh, maybe I'll be able to, di to dive in a little deeper. This was the first one for today. So it does, Oh, she said, that's my heart. What it, which one is your heart? Um, I see you say, that's my heart. Not sure which one. Is it the puppy or? I can't, honestly, I can't recall. Mm. Oh, to be of service to other people, to be kind. No way. Are you really, you're a psychedelic prep integration socialist? So, so I can't say that last name. Looks like, oh, your caring of other people is, is from your heart. This is, they want, they, they're showing me a lots of gratitude. Lots of uh, your spirit guides and the, your loved ones and ancestors are just expressing such immense gratitude and um, they're, they're sending you, oh, it's a specialist. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's, that's very interesting. That's very interesting. Wow. Um, beautiful, beautiful. You know, it was a little slow coming in. Was the drums or anything round? I, that, that was the first thing that came in. I thought that was unusual. And um, well, thank you very much for, for following up and validating that. Let me just see if there's anything else for Katie. They're saying, as long as you follow what's in your heart, you follow what, what is your bliss, as long as you enjoy and have fun and it brings you joy, uh, what you're doing, you will continue to be successful. Once it gets to be a little bit of a chore, a little bit um, of a, you know, a pain, then it's time to steer to a new direction. But as long as you're feeling that heart, that soul fulfillment and that joy in, in what you do, um, they say, keep doing it. So are you in the Sedona area? Oh, okay. My cultural ties for drums. Okay. 
I see. Uh, I've done a lot of healing uh, for them too, your ancestors, and work with psychedelics to help. <gasps> wow, veterans with and trauma. Good for you, Katie. Oh my gosh. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm surprised the first time. Oh, it's the first time you met me. Oh, you're in California, but Sedona, uh, you got married there. <laughs> Very good. Very good. That was really, really interesting. Really interesting. You have beautiful energy, Katie. Thank you very much for um, for asking and jumping in first and, uh, you know, asking your question. I appreciate that. Okay, so let me see. I see Kenneth. Um, so he would like to speak to Joanne Lee, his wife. Hi, Kenneth. I'm sorry for your loss. So let me see if we can connect with Joanne. And Kenneth, if you could just stay on the ready if I ask you a question, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, thank you. If you wouldn't mind uh, providing feedback. Joanne Lee, wait for Kenneth. She, was, she is a very gentle soul, very kind, very angelic. Uh, she had a very light step and uh, a very, uh, she wasn't very assertive at all. And she was um, just uh, very humble and uh, a little passive, if, if that makes sense. Um, and she uh, would speak when spoken to, but she wasn't very outgoing or boisterous. Uh, she was very kind, and um, so she did tell me the first thing she said was, I thought you, I was supposed to outlive you. I think that when, I'm not sure if that means anything to you. Okay. So Kenneth says, yes, I feel her that way too. Wow. Um, so she did say that... Um, she was supposed to outlive you. Yeah, you are correct. Absolutely. And this was a surprise to her. And she she wanted to be able to take care of you um, and grow old together. Yeah, he's, he says, uh, you are correct. Absolutely. And he thought that he would leave before her. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let me see what Joanne has uh, as a message for Kenneth. She says, uh, I'll be right here. I haven't left you. She says, I will be right here waiting for you. And she said that she's going to um, smooth, smooth the path for you so that there are no uh, bumps or um, or or obstacles for you. She's just going to smooth your path. She said she's able to watch over you. She's able to send you blessings. She's able to um, come into your dreams. I'm not sure if you have any dreams of her or if you kind of feel her around you when you're uh, quiet at night. Um, she said that she can come in a little bit closer to you, especially because her energy is so soft and quiet that uh, that she can come in and, and visit you at night and just bring her energy closer to you. She does not want to startle you. She does say that she's going to be waiting here. She's not going to uh, continue on with her schooling or with her education or with her training on the other side. She's going to wait. There's like a waiting area. And she's going to wait there for you. And she says, don't worry about the time. There's no time over here. And um, so uh, 90 years for us is like 48 hours over there. It's just, it's no time. She says like, like it's, it's only like an instant and, um, and it could be 10 or 20 years. She says, so I will be waiting here for you. I will be greeting you when it, when your day is comes. She said, no hurry, no rush. But she said she's able to um, blend her energy with you. So she says to be open to it. And uh, especially when you're quiet 
And perhaps maybe when you're having a meal in the morning, it's the energetic, you know, when cars start going and people start going and businesses start opening, there's a lot of energy and chaos. But at night or in the morning, it's a little bit quiet and a little bit more subtle. These are times where you can feel her come in uh, a little bit more when you're calmed down and when things around you are calm. Uh, So Kenneth says, yes, this is what the other medium said too. You're kidding. <gasps> wow. Wow. Excellent. Uh, I feel it too. It, it is smooth so far and dreams definitely. Wow. She's good communicator. She's really good. She's, she's, she's batting a thousand here. Thanks. Yes, I understand. Time doesn't exist over there, right? Morning when having breakfast, I feel her. Oh my gosh. Wow. She's such a gentle soul. She's so, uh, I, I, I hope this, in the nicest way, she's just very polite, has, has uh, a lot of manners. And she, she, um, she is, she's just very introspective, maybe cerebral. She would have, she would, be in her thoughts a lot and not be a, a, a chatty Kathy. But um, wow, very nice. Yes, strong connection between us. She's coming through like, <laughs> she's coming through very well for me. Good, Kenneth. Well, I'm so sorry for your loss, but thank you very much for asking to connect to Joanne. It was a pleasure reading for you both. Aw, she is. She is very light, very difficult, different from physical life, right? Wow, wow, yeah. I, I don't, I, I don't know if this was her personality. I kind of was feeling, yeah. You feel her lightness, yeah. She's, she's very. She has like an angelic qualities there. All right. Well, thank you very much, Kenneth. I appreciate all the the quick feedback. Uh, that was really very nice. So Aileen, are you still here? Oh, here. Let me do Angelo. Angelo gave me, uh, Angela, 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 are you still here? And Aileen, if you could give me your mom's name, and I'd be just say my mom and then Brenda or whatever her name is. Um, and Angela, I see you have Anastasius, your husband. And Angela, if you're here to say hello. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Hi, Rena, Irene. Thanks for being here. Okay, Angela, let me connect with your husband, Anastasios. Is there somebody in his family that is taking care of you? He's showing me like my brother, your, my brother will be responsible for you. My brother will be taking care of you. Does he have, does he have somebody assigned to take care of you. Um, okay, Aileen, isn't that funny? I see that. Thank you very much. I'll get you next. Yes, yes, you may. You may, Rena. Um, so Angela, oh no, he didn't say that. Okay, so let me see who he's telling, who he's telling me that is taking care of you. He's sending you his love. He's sharing with me his um, never ending love. He says that he is with uh, family members. He is safe. He is uh, very well taken care of. He is able to watch over you and he is able to hear your thoughts. He, he hears you um, thinking about him and reminiscing about memories about him. And you often wonder if that connection is still there. And um, you wonder if he's watching over you. You wonder if he's around. Uh, you you do some of these uh, from time to time. It would just pop into your mind, 
and you would think about him and wonder if he knows what you're doing or if he knows what you're thinking or if he knows, you know, it's it's just this unknown and it's like this personal conversation that you have with yourself, but he can hear you. He knows when you do um, uh, think about him and wonder these things. He wants you to know that he is close by He's showing me a court jester. Do you know what? Aw. Aw. Let me see. Um, Angela says, I miss him so much. Why didn't he come back to me? Do you mean when he passed, it was his time? And she says, I love him too. And I think about him all the time. He sees, he sees this and he wants you to know that he does hear you. And that he's, um, he, you are in conversation with him. So um, he will do his best to communicate back with you, but he does hear you. So understand that what you say and what you think about in your mind, he can hear. So knowing this, then you can turn it around to a conversation. Whatever it is, be in conversation with him as if he is right there listening to you. Whether you say it in your mind or you say it out loud, he can hear you. And he just he just wants to reassure you that he is close by. His energy is watching over you. And he is trying to comfort you. He is comforting you. He corrected me. He said he is sending you comforting, uh, soothing feelings and thoughts. He's saying our hearts are always connected forever. For, he said forever, uh, never ending love in the very beginning. He said this. Your hearts are connected and uh, will always be connected throughout all time. Oh, he's very passionate. What a beautiful husband. What a loving soul. And he cherished you. He cherished you and um, treated you like a queen. He treated you very special, took care of you, um, made sure you had everything that you needed. He's telling me I was a simple man. He didn't need very much. And he was happy because it made you happy. He's very loving. He just wants to, he's just keeps reassuring me that, um, yeah, she says, um, I always wonder if he ever asked God to heal him and send him back to me. He left me way too young. Yeah. 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 Sorry for your loss, Angela. Yeah. Um, he was wonderful. Yes, he, he did. He did treat you like a queen. How wonderful. I don't, I can't, um, let me see if I can that him in the photo. Oh, it's very tiny. I can't really see it, but it's very lovely. Very lovely. And he's he's very much a romantic and your your hearts are are tied forever. So um very nice. Thank you, Angela. And I have um at Aileen's mom is Jean. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Her name was Jean. Okay, so this is your mom. Aileen wants a message from her mom, Jean. So I'm not, she's, for some reason, she's, uh, Aileen, she's showing me bewitched. She's showing me uh, a woman with her hair sort of to her shoulders, but um, kind of that style. But when she showed me uh, the style, she showed me bewitched. So I'm not sure if this was her, her era when she was, um, younger and having uh, a young mother. 
uh, but she's showing me Bewitched. I'm not sure if she's showing me like that mid-century modern kind of style or era that she grew up in. Um, or if she or if she loved Bewitched, I'm not sure why um, it was that she's showing me this. But you're saying yes as far as her hair, okay. And mid-century modern time. She's saying that uh, she really enjoyed um, being your mom and that you're, uh, you've exceeded all of her expectations, that you are uh, a joy and very impressive to her. Um, she said, you could do much more than I ever could and you were uh, afforded and you learned and you had um, so many new opportunities that you were uh, not afraid to to uh, take a chance. And she was um, impressed with your bravery, with your courage, and with your, your drive to uh, expand your experience. She seems to be a little more timid or a little more of a rule follower and a little more of a you know, stay in your lane kind of person. And, and you seem to have a little more ambition and a little more, you know, um, nothing ventured, nothing gained kind of an attitude. And you're a little bit more of a go-getter. And she's just really admiring this about you. Um, I feel as though, um, I'm not sure if that makes sense, Aileen. She's letting you know that she is with uh, loved ones on the other side. And she's very well taken care of. She said it is a spectacle to watch from the other side, um, all of the goings on here on earth. It's fantastical, she said. I'm not sure if she'd like to read. She's saying it's, um, <laughs> she said it's, it's miraculous. She's saying, believe. She's saying, trust in your intuition, trust in your gut. She said, I um, uh, can nudge you. I can uh, help it, um, like, um, influence you a little bit and um, sort of steer you in the right way. I can give you signs. I can open up uh, pathways for you and... Um, and lead you, kind of like leave breadcrumbs for you um, to help you. She said, I cannot interfere very much, but there are certain things that I can do and I am doing them. And she's saying, please trust your intuition because this is me uh, sort of like giving her, her energy to you to motivate you to do something. Like if you feel like if you're at home and you feel like, um, you know, I don't know, going going somewhere and, and visiting somebody and you keep thinking about this, but you really don't want to do it because you're at home and you don't feel like going back out, but you feel this little urge inside of you. You feel like an urge. You feel like a, you have this intuition to do something like this. And she's saying that follow these little clues, follow these little nudges that it's her and your spirit guides that are helping to lead you. And she just wants you to trust your intuition and not to rationalize it, not to um, not to explain it away. She's saying, believe and trust. Wow. She had a tough life. Wow. And she had a lot uh, stacked against her and not much opportunity. And she sees that... Um, Prolific reader. Okay. Yep. Good. Good. Yeah. She's really, she's really uh, beautiful and she's very insistent that I asked her for that, that message before we go. And she said to trust your intuition, Aileen, 
and that she's um, she's helping you as much as she can from the other side. She's in all of you. So all the best to you, Aileen. Thank you very much for uh, asking your question and uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, thank you, you guys. You know what? I'm here on StreamYard. I can't see the little the emojis, but now I, I look over here. I have um, Facebook up and I can see all the emojis. Thank you very much, you guys. That was sweet. That was really sweet. Okay. I see, uh, I see you, Michelle. Michelle would like to hear from her dad, Joe. And um, uh, let me go back. Let me go back. I saw... Rena, you said, can I still ask a question? Let me see. Okay. Oh. Okay. So Rena had a question. She said, was it my friend I was talking through the pendulum? So they, they wouldn't say it's directly her. They're saying that it is, she is in communication with your higher self or with your spirit guides. So it was once removed, it wasn't direct, but she was, she was helping, she was communicating with your, whoever you were asking, your spirit guides, your higher self, whatever, or your angels, whatever you were asking, she was helping them, like communicating with them. So it is once removed, she is not just um, doing it directly. Does that make sense? But the communication came from her and originated from her. Uh, but I believe it's your... Oh uh, yeah, Autumn. I know. I know. But it is through your spirit guides. There is a certain protection. There is a certain layer that your spirit guides and angels will not allow, you know, um, certain energies past um, um, a direct access to you. Um, and this is very good practice to have like a, um, a spirit guide or an angel with you. Um, but I do believe it, it, it is the original, the information that came through was the information coming from her, but the uh, effect on your pendulum was from your spirit guides. Does that make sense? Oh, yes. Yeah, and um, this is very common. She said a, a song came on that reminded me of her. Absolutely, that is her. That is definitely her um, communicating with you for sure. This is what they do. Very good. I'm so happy for you, Rena. I know that that this has been uh, troubling for you, and um, I'm glad that you've been able to be in contact and uh, make amends if if any is necessary. Um, thank you very much uh, for your question. Okay. So I do say Michelle, and uh, if if you would, Michelle is lovely. She put all caps and she uh, told me who it was that she would like to speak to and their first name. So she did uh, and, and emojis. So thank you very much, Michelle. I appreciate that very much. Would you, she would love to hear uh, from her dad, Joe. So if you have a question, that's a good way for me to, to be able to catch it. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Rena. Oh, all right, Michelle, Dad, Joe, Michelle Stevens, Michelle Stevens. He seems he's uh, he's presenting himself as um, he's just saying that he's a typical father. He's saying that he enjoyed sports, watching sports on TV. He's saying that he. Um, was not as engaged in your life uh, as he wished he would have been. He was um, very focused on providing for the family and um, had a very important job that occupied a lot of his attention. He's saying, but he became closer to you in his later years, in your later years. And this meant the world to him. I'm not sure if you have children, but he's he's saying like getting close to you and the grandchildren uh, later in life what meant the world to him. He felt like he was able to reconnect and he had missed out on so much time. I'm not sure if he traveled a lot or if he was just uh, very engaged in his work. Um, 
but he said that he missed out a lot in your childhood um, and that he was glad that he was able to experience this with his grandchildren. He said, this is the sweetness in life. He says, uh, he says, I learned, I see now that all of that effort to uh, be a huge success and put all of my time and all of my focus into my job didn't get me anywhere. I can't bring any of that job with me. I can't bring any of that anything with me. Um, he's saying, but the love and the relationships and the connections to the souls and the family that that you you have around you, the friends and the family that you have around you is more valuable than money, is more valuable than success. He's saying he sees this now and he sort of had a second chance later in life um, to reconnect with you. And he's just really, really, really grateful that he had that opportunity to reconnect with you. He says that, and he only now realizes how much he sacrificed uh, early in life. He's saying hug. Hug those that you love, give them an extra squeeze, call them and tell them that you love them, ask them what's on their mind today, connect with them, connect with those who you love, whether it's friends, neighbors, family. He's saying these relationships are paramount. They are, um, they come before anything else. He's saying he gained so much knowledge on the other side. He said they should have told us rules when we came in, rules that, that this was the most important. And he said he felt he could feel the sacrifice. He felt um, torn from you when he was uh, devoting a lot of his attention and time to his, to his job. Um, he, did, he felt he did feel like he was um, torn from, from the family somewhat. But he felt that this was a duty he had to do. But he said it's it's not worth the trade off. There's no there's nothing worth trading that off. And he just wants to uh, let you know that he does love you. He watches over you. And let me see. I want to see if you have kids. Did did you say you had kids? Um, uh, he's really coming in, so I wanted to keep going. Um, let me see if I can put my glasses on because I can't see. So, Michelle, did any of that make sense to you? Oh, your brothers have kids. Okay. Your brothers. Okay. Yeah. Maybe he didn't have, um, did he have time to, did he sacrifice uh, a lot when he was younger for his job? I'm going to have to go in just a few more minutes. I have a, a client coming up, um, but I might be able to squeeze in one more. Uh, thank you for asking your, uh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Thank you for, um, for validating that. I really appreciate it. Um, let me see. I might have time for just one more. Um, and I just, the closest one here that I see is Sarah. And Sarah says her grandmother, Joan. And Sarah, just stand by. At, oh, you're welcome, Michelle. Thank you. Um, Sarah, just stand by and um, make sure you're there to validate if it's okay. You could just say hi in there. She's saying that you worry, uh, not worry, you wonder about her. She's saying that she is fine. She's, she said that she was um, a little bit, um, it's, I, the word frail comes to mind, but she was just uh, a little fragile and a little slow uh, moving and getting around and um, uh, she was, she still had, uh, most of her wits about her, she's saying, but she, her body was breaking down and she was, uh, slow getting around and that you used to help her and get things for her, move things for her, just help her, uh, around. And she said that you still, you feel as though 
that you want to kind of help her and take care of her and wonder if she's okay. So she wants you to know that she is better than okay. She is back to her young, strong self and she's able to get around and she's able to do gardening. I'm not sure if she liked gardening. She said she's able to get down on her knees and garden just like she loved to do. And she, she can do this on the other side. This is what she loves to do is cultivate and um, prop, propagate plants and flowers, vegetables. She's saying, um, you are very smart. She's saying it's natural to wonder what's going on on the other side. Oh, she's telling me she's with her, she's with her family. Um, um, I'm not sure there is a male um, energy there with her. I'm not sure if she has a spouse or her father or her brother. There is a male energy there with her, but there's uh, family members. She said, we're all here. They're, we're all together. And she just wants you to know not to worry about her. Um, and she said that you can talk to her. You can ask her questions. You can speak to her in, in your, uh, you know, quietly in your thoughts. She can hear your thoughts. And she said, if you need guidance that you can only need to ask her and that she'll, uh, reply to you and give you nudges and uh and sort of like uh spark your intuition speak to you through your intuition speak to you in signs and symbols she's saying you can do this She's saying you are strong and you have tough skin. So I'm not sure if you're uh, going through a little bit of a, a trying time, whether it's a job or, uh, you know, uh, some sort of relationship that's uh, a little bit um, challenging for you at this moment. But she said you have thick skin and you're strong. She said if you uh, need me, you can just, just call my name. She's saying, you know what to do to trust yourself. She's saying, love yourself and be kind to yourself. Don't put yourself down. She's saying that sometimes like we do it, um, out of habit, like, Oh, why did I just do that? I'm so stupid. Like sometimes people, like we just get in the habit of saying that if we do something and she's saying, be, it's very, very important to choose your words wisely and to be careful what you say to yourself and be very gentle and loving with yourself. She said, act, she said, speak to you as if you were speaking to me. You wouldn't say, why did you do that? That's so stupid. That would be hurtful to her. She said, it's hurtful to you and your soul. She said, be very kind and gentle with yourself and your soul. She said, um, and do things that make yourself happy. She's saying that you like to play music loud. I'm not sure if it's, uh, I don't know, like Taylor Swift or something that you jump around and dance to. Maybe it's Miley Cyrus or somebody that's popular that you like to uh, sing and dance. And she said, this kind of a, a, a high uh, energy and, and a feeling of just... Um, um, like high energy kind of feeling. She said to make sure you connect in with that. She said she loves it when she can feel that your energy is very high and that you uh, feel your emotions very strongly. She said, this will get you through the tough times, through the challenges. She said, there's just challenges in your life right now. And these are, um, these are, uh, expected challenges that we have in life in order to grow our soul and to expand our soul's growth. Wow, she's really good at teaching. I'm not sure if she was a teacher either. All right, I'm going to open my eyes. I, do, I didn't want to disconnect with her because <laughs> she was talking to me so well. So Sarah, let me see. So Sarah was saying yes. Oh, it might be her nephew. Um, her dad Oops, no, that was somebody else. Okay, sorry, Sarah. 
Oh, that was your nephew is with with her on the side on the other side. When you, I said that there was a male with her. You're welcome, Sarah. Wow. Wow. She was really giving you instructions, really giving you advice, and is uh, very talkative. Very talkative. So um, whatever you're going through, I hope, I know that you'll get through it. And um, I love that she told me that you were singing like at the top of your lungs and dancing around. And that this kind of, you know, um, pushing through and um, feeling um, happy and joyful despite the challenges that might be around you. Um, she's just saying that, that this, is, this is a good uh, technique to work on. All right. Well, thank you very much. And um, I am going to have to go. Oh, okay. So she says, I think she used to garden when she was younger. She says she, she can do this again. She can do this again. I have a, a client coming up. Oh, she's saying, yes, I do dance. Wow. Thank you very much for validating that. Thank you very much. She's wonderful. Joan is really wonderful. Very supportive. Um, so everybody, I am going to have to go. I have a client coming up and thank you very much for joining me in this uh, impromptu live. And I appreciate everybody coming. I will be on uh, from time to time and I uh, hope to see you back. So keep, keep a watch for me. I don't know how Facebook does it that you can make a, a watch for when I go live. I don't know if you, there's some, something you can do, but uh, you can also come over to my YouTube channel. It's Sun Psyche Gene on YouTube. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll get notifications of when I go live. Um, and then also if I'm on somebody else's channel doing readings, you can, uh, you'll know where I'm going to be. Also, um, if you would like a private reading, I'm open for private readings, which I'm doing in, in just a few minutes. I do uh, private readings. You can go to sunpsychicgene.com and that's where you can book a, uh, a reading with me. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing you all again really soon. And thanks again for every, all of your support. Take care. Have a good, have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye-bye.